And now for Crime Check in Southwest Memphis, thousands of dollars of counterfeit merchandise is off the streets tonight, and so are the people accused of selling them. Police busted five men selling knockoffs at the Lamar Flea Market on 3rd Street yesterday. WREG's Michael Quander is live with how police say the men were getting away with it. Michael? Well, Stephanie, let's say you wanted a Chanel or maybe a Michael Kors bag. Police say these guys would give it to you for about 40 bucks. They tell you to pick up any generic bag off the table and then they'd slap a fake designer label on it. I'm pretty sure people know how much real Michael, how much real Michael Kors purses cost. Police say you could have gotten so-called designer merchandise at the Lamar flea market for cheap. Sunglasses, music, even handbags. Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, okay, I never had one. The only problem, police say they were all fake. No, it's not okay. Cause I, I sure wouldn't want nobody to sell me nothing fake. The tables are empty at Third and Rains tonight, and the men accused of selling the knockoffs sit behind bars. If I spend my money on something fake, I, yeah, I'd be upset. Four of the men are accused of selling fake purses from designers like Chanel, Coach, Dolce and Gabbana, and Prada. One even offering up a pair of fake Ray-Ban sunglasses at five dollars a pop. If they got some people who head out here that they can bust for them, of course they gonna sell them, you know. And police. Police say this guy hustled music. He was busted with about 300 counterfeit albums. No, I no, it's not shocking to me at all. Neighbors aren't surprised about the arrest after the same thing happened right across the street four years ago. Only that time, the entire place was shut down and raided by the FBI. Even after they did it like that, the people were still selling what they were selling, they merchandise. It's a huge problem in this area. Keith Haney is a former MPD officer turned counterfeit merchandise expert. He says if you're looking to buy designer labels, you need to be aware of price, quality, and location. If you're looking for a high-end uh, trademarked item, you're not going to find them at your local flea markets. That's why people like Angela Williams say they're going straight to the source. If I'm going to go with a Michael Kors purse, I'm going to go to Michael Kors and get a purse. Now, police say they got more than $50,000 worth of fake merchandise off the streets, and all these guys are expected to be in court tomorrow morning. We'll let you know what happens, but for now, we're reporting live at the CJC tonight. Michael Quander, WREG News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Michael.